ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹನೌ ಭುನಕ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯಂ ಕರವಾವತೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನಾವಧೀತಮಸ್ತು ಮಾವಿದ್ ಶಾವಹೈ ಓ ಶಾಂತಿ ಶಾಂತಿ ಗುರುರ್ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಗುರು ವಿಷ್ಣು ಗುರುರ್ದೇವೋ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಗುರು ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ಪರಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರವೇ ನಮಃ ಅಣ್ಣಾಮಲಯ ಅಡಿಯೇನೈ ಆಂಡ ಅಂಡ್ರೇ ಆವಿಯುಡಲ್ ಕುಂಡಾಯಕ್ಕೋ ಕುರಯುಂಡೋ ಕುರಯುಂ ಗುಣಮು ನೀಯಲ್ಲ ಎನ್ನೇ ನಿವಟ್ರೈ ಎನ್ನುಯಿರೇ ಎನ್ನಂ ಎದುವೋ ಅದು ಸೈವಾಯ್ ಕಣ್ಣೇ ಉಂದನ್ ಕರಳಿನಯಿಲ್ ಕಾದರ್ ಪೆರುಕೇ ತರುವಾಯೇ ಕಣ್ಣೇ ಉಂದನ್ ಕರಳಿನಯಿಲ್ ಕಾದರ್ ಪೆರುಕೇ ತರುವಾಯೇ ಓ ಮತಿ ಮಧುರ ಛಾಪ ಹಸ್ತ ಅಪರಿಮಿತ ಮೋದಭಾನ ಸೌಭಾಗ್ಯ ಅರುಣ ಅತಿಶಯ ಕರುಣ ಅಭಿನವಕುಲಸುಂದರೀ ವಂದೇ ಓ ಮೈ ಹ್ರೀ ಶ್ರೀ ಶ್ರೀ ಅರುಣಾಚಲಂ ಶಲ್ ಚಾಂಟ್ ದ ಮಂಗಳ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಯತ ಸರ್ವಾನಿ ಭೂತಾನಿ ಪ್ರತಿಭಾಂತಿ ಸ್ಥಿತಿ ಚೈವೋಪಶಮ ಯಾಂತಿ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಸತ್ಯಾತ್ಮನೆ ನಮಃ ಟುಡೇ ಈವ್ನಿಂಗ್ ವಿ ಸಾ ವಾಲ್ಮೀಕಿ ಸಮರೈಸಿಂಗ್ ದ ಶ್ರೀ ವಶಿಷ್ಠ ಉಪದೇಶ ಟು ಶ್ರೀರಾಮ ವೈಲ್ ಹಿ ವಾಸ್ ಸಮರೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಹಿ ವಾಸ್ ಟೆಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ ಭರದ್ವಾಜಾ ವಾಲ್ಮೀಕಿ ವಾಸ್ ಟೆಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಭರದ್ವಾಜಾ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಲಿಸನಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದ ಉಪದೇಶ ಆಫ್ ವಶಿಷ್ಠ ಮುನಿ ಶ್ರೀ ರಾಮ ಗಾಟ್ ಎನ್ಲೈಟೆಂಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಿ ವಾಸ್ ರೆವಲಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಆನಂದ which arises when you abide in that pure consciousness and he became still and not even wanting to talk or not even wanting to appreciate or express his gratitude so he was just he entered into deep samadhi hearing this bharadwaja was very astonished ha huh, is it so just by listening to his guru he got that enlightenment wonderful how how is that how can we also attain that kind of a state of liberation he inquired from valmiki his guru then he said see i have narrated everything from the beginning onwards this rama's charitram now you examine with your buddhi with your intellect and again and again reflect over it then you will understand that's what he said tirupina modalinda aarmikka venda nu paakringa ravar so now you reflect upon it having said that out of compassion he gives the essence of the vedic knowledge in the fifth verse we will once again read that fifth verse <coughs> <coughs> this is the seventh chapter we are in ah fifth verse avidhyaya jagat jhatam avidhyaya jagat jhatam nasti satyam ihan vapi nasti 
नास्ति भिन्नम चित किंचित स्वप्ने वृत्ति मिदम जगत दिस वर्ल्ड ऑफ नेम्स एंड फॉर्म्स दे आर बॉर्न बिकॉज ऑफ अवर इग्नोरेंस इट इज नॉट देर न अस्ति सत्यम truly it is not there anu api not even an uh, anu iota of this names and forms are there see somebody says the mirage mirage water what you are seeing is not is it yes not even an iota of water you may get there to to quench your thirst but but i am seeing it you may see but it is not there then how do i see that is because of some sort of a phenomenon you are seeing it but actually the water is not there that is how he is saying see after realizing also that there is no water still you see it please understand but you know that it is not see in atma vidya vilasam also there uh, sada sa brahmendra says this echo when you shout it echoes the ignorant fellow will wonder are somebody else also is there shouting but once when he knows the truth still he will he will hear the echo you understand so after knowing that there is no water also you may see the mirage but you are very very sure that there is no water so after realizing the truth also this mahatma is able to relate with the names and forms but not as you and see you and i see in a very different uh, vision he has got you understand na asti bhinnam chitah kinchit and also whatever you see or experience is consciousness only pure consciousness is self only swarupam only there is nothing which is what is different from this pure consciousness because that is a substratum and everything else is an appearance it has got no existence of its own and it cannot illumine by itself therefore only the substratum is truth therefore everything is this consciousness only swapne vrutam vrutam idam jagat like in swapna you see a world other than you but when you wake up you know that all the world of names and forms are not you understand the mind was only projecting it so mind stuff see how it started the whole subject matter how it started the drik and drishya padarth the seer and the seen so the student asked rama asked and vashishtha started saying the problem is the bandhanam is there is a seer and there is seen the seen is always influencing the seer suppose when you can remove all the seen or if you realize or discover that there is no seen then you are liberated that is how he started you remember here he concludes also who valmiki he is summarizing but he is summarizing with vashishtha supadesha so in summary what he is saying the seen that is the world of names and forms is actually not it is not true it is only illusionary meaning what like a mirage water therefore having known this why should this drik the seer be influenced so when he remains without getting disturbed for some period of time by the seen the seer himself dissolves that bird is continuously eating experiencing the good and bad the the joys and sorrows that is why the mind is still active and it is in samsara for some time if it is not eating and just watching detached from all the experiences then that seer or the knower the ego self itself will perish so here the upadesha is 
whatever you are influenced by the world of names and forms is not it is only your own mind's projection see you project a world and then you superimpose joy in it in fact the world itself is not means where is the question of whether joy is there or not in the world see the ghost itself is not then what is the question of whether that ghost has got a teeth or will it kill me a nalla peya ketta peya peya illa ghost itself is not so what you are influenced by disturbed by the world of names and forms itself is not please understand knowing this for some time you remain in your own state without getting disturbed that is meditation sakshi bhavana means what you just remain without getting disturbed by whatever experiences even while you are living in this life also don't get disturbed then what happens slowly this fellow mind will dissolve by itself the seer will go the scene also is not that is liberation but we don't allow the mind to subside we don't allow the mind continuously we go on reacting meddling with the mind with the words of names and forms through our likes and dislikes sankalpa vikalpa go on you know meddling with the mind then how will the mind subside either we know how to go to sleep or we go on blah 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 blah, blah, blah. so where will the mind subside so the gyanis the yogis have found out for some time you remain quiet you need not know anything you need not achieve anything without any sankalpa vikalpas you just remain quiet peaceful silent everything will be taken care see when you clearly see that this world of names and forms are only my mind's creation and has got no uh, no existence of its own so how can it have joy or sorrow i only superimpose joy or sorrow through because of my vasanas so i give up when i know this i give up when i give up i am no more going behind it so from the third bhumika we move to the fourth bhumika satvapatti we try to abide in the self meaning what if you don't think about anything else we are in the truth only and more the withdrawal and more the abidance what happens satva chamatkara rudha chatva chamatkara the truth is revealed more and more and effortlessly you abide asam sakti means you don't get united with the world but you are absorbed in the self when that continues padartha bhavanam you no more cognize the world of names and forms but there also when you come out of that state you may cognize but this this thuriya is when you are doing avahara or in the state there is no difference you experience only one consciousness so for all those things what you should do you should understand this seer who is unnecessarily getting disturbed by the scene it it has got no meaning because the world of names and forms itself is not i am only imagining and i imagine joy or sorrow in that and then i have sankalpa and vikalpa to achieve attain it possess it enjoy it and i get disturbed continuously so i have understood if i give up sankalpas if i stop brooding over the objects if i just sit quiet without getting influenced by anything then what happens even that personality that personality also will dissolve and what remains nobody can explain beyond words beyond imagination you go and see what it is it is something else absolutely something else so therefore here the upadesha concludes saying that is only consciousness there is no world whatsoever This world, what you are seeing, is like a dream. Meaning, now you are, you may see it in Swapna also. You are seeing the objects, and you have got all the emotions. You are so frightened by the dream tiger chasing you. 
and you ha ah, ah, ha pant it's all true but when you wake up only you realize ha ah, ah, all this uh, imagery created by the mind even the experience is created by the mind only here also in the waking also actually speaking when we know the truth we appreciate that this world of names and forms and the seer both are created by the mind when the mind dissolves there is no seen or the seer there is only that prapancha upashamam shantam shivam see when i say shivam shivam don't think i am a saivite so i am talking about shiva shiva means auspicious i am not talking about any personal gods shiva means auspicious actually speaking in veda kalam there are no personal gods as such later only in purana kalam veda vyasa's time because people's minds were very gross uh, veda vyasa introduced all these forms so that people can hold on and meditate or you know upasana worship so when i say shivam shivam it means what the auspicious that is the self only so therefore when you remain like that this waking state the dream and the deep sleep they come and go in me they are in me i am not in them i have nothing to do with them they cannot touch me they cannot influence me they are in me i am not in them like that if you can remain quiet you are near swami ji 20 minutes are you you have to remain like that till you establish in turiya then what happens when when you are in turiya you will not find any difference whatsoever between these three states waking dream and deep sleep between the seer and the seen between the different objects and you experience what only one which is what chitaha na asti bhinnam chitaha that you experience yourself that is nothing other than this pure consciousness in fact all this world of names and forms is like a dream object only this you realize only when you are awakened to that state of turiya as long as you are in the field of ego ignorance enna kuttikarana bodala you will not understand you will not appreciate again and again like p- catching the pig style you will you will say no no i am seeing the world seeing the world while seeing the world with the ego if you try to know the self then it is like catching the pig style only because of the ego only there is this division in this consciousness called as aham and idam with the aham if you try to know the param that cannot happen uh, gurudev sold example down a fellow was using the torch light and he was moving in the dark suddenly he wanted to know whether there is a battery there or not in the torch so he opened when he opened he could not see it because when he opens then the light won't come so like that when you try to see the self with the limited intellect and the ego personality you can never apa enna da seyirudun keta let everything prapancha upashamam shantam everything let it cease if you are unable to sit quiet then hold on hold on keep your attention only on the i thought then what happens you are not now worried about any of the idam the seen the seen objects only the seer you are meditating or concentrating on when you keep the mind without getting disturbed by the seen for long time in the seer seer disappears when the seer and the seen disappears in that ocean of consciousness you enjoy that bliss that is what is said here So, what do you want to do? A little bit of a little bit. That's it. A little bit of a little bit. Hey, 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 hey. Who is the moksha? For me, when will I be liberated? You can never be liberated. Huh? You must go. Then who is liberated? Nobody is liberated. The self shines on its own. the false personality is understood to be false 
the false personality is understood or seen to be false and who is there? nobody is realized the self shines on its own and there only bliss who enjoys nobody enjoys it is of the nature of bliss so therefore just chumma konjana ire either you want something of the world you go to the god or to the guru and say i want that i want this i want uh, or you go to the guru and say i want some experience i want some experience avangalukku la ennamo kaadu la kekkuda kulalu seyala kekkuda kulalu seyala kekkuda they are hearing some divine music and that person is seeing something happening somewhere naada mandu mari iruke nothing i am not able to see i pakkathu theriy maatinga because power so you want some experience hey you have to go beyond all experience adala irukatu appuram poi kira ipo enak modhal konja experience kudunga ungakitta vandaduk edha konja nadakatum give me some experience en thalaiyila kaiya vechi enna ma senju vidunga enna seiyiradu so we have to go beyond experiences that is what guru says just keep quiet chumma iru everything will be all right மோட்சம் கூட வேண்டாம் உனக்கு ஆல்ரெடி நீ மோட்சத்துல தான் இருக்க கொஞ்ச நேரம் சும்மா இருந்தா அது கூட உனக்கு விளங்கும் மோட்சம் வேணும் மோட்சம் வேணும் மோட்சம் வேணும் சொன்னா இப்படி அலறி அலறி சாக வேண்டியதான் நீ மோட்சத்துக்கு மோட்சத்துக்கு கீப் குவாயட் ஜஸ்ட் பி எவ்ரி திங் வில் பி ஆல் ரைட் எப்போ ஆல் ரைட் ஆகும் கொஞ்ச நேரம் சும்மா இருந்தேன் பேசாம அதான் முடியாது எங்களால சம்திங் அதாவது இந்த மண்டையில போய் புழு குறைஞ்சிட்டே இருக்கும் எதையாவது எனக்கு அது வேணும் இது வேணும் இல்லை அது வேணும் வி மஸ்ட் ஹவ் லிசன் ஃப்ரம் சம்வேர் தட் இஸ் த கிரேட்டஸ்ட் திங் நவ் ஐ வாண்ட் தட் ஒன்ஸ் லேடிஸ் கேம் டு பகவான் இட் சீம்ஸ் அண்ட் தே வேர் இன் அ ரஷ் டு கேச் அ ட்ரெயின் தட் அம்மா வாஸ் ஆஸ்கிங் பகவான் ப்ளீஸ் கிவ் மீ மோக்ஷா ஐ வாண்ட் டு கோ நவ் ஹவ் டு கேச் த ட்ரெயின் ப்ளீஸ் கிவ் மீ மோக்ஷா பகவான் வாஸ் சிட்டிங் குவாயட் that amma requested twice thrice bhagwan was not moved he was just sitting quiet that amma got frustrated and she left and then bhagwan told it seems is it a katrikaya valakaya is it a vegetable or what the moksha so that i can give her what moksha means what the pakkuvam maturity that is moksha the balance the pakkuva to sit quiet without seeking anything don't seek the world not worth it it is all illusory don't seek god spare him power spare god let god be wherever he is don't seek pleasure it is all pain only don't seek anything not even liberation when you don't seek anything there you are you are the truth the seeking is a trouble but if you say that seeking is a trouble if you don't seek anything then you go back to your old ways don't seek anything is not i am as i am so there are only three things to seek one is the world worldly pleasures second is god or some abode of gods or second thing is my own shreyas or liberation or whatever don't seek the world not worth it don't seek god we don't know whether there is god or not how do we know do you know whether there is god or not how do you know the shastras has shastras have said so many things do you know what about god god is god is not both ha ha wait wait satapi asatapi ubhayatmikano bhinna api abhinna api ubhayatmikano so you cannot say anything about god that's what adi shankara says anirvachaniyam you cannot say anything about god whether he is there yes he is not there yes there or not there both enna da solla varum kadesh idha ungal lecture ke varakudad naanga vaadu krishna rama govinda jali a irpom neenga vande irkar illai rendu rendu illa or inda questions kudupaanga illaya enna multiple answer multiple answer question ha 
அதுல வந்து God is is not both neither Bo- all the four are right so about god please spare him let him be happy wherever he is and about oneself don't worry too much about yourself this self this ego self is false false means it is not there is nothing to seek for this ego self this, because this ego self should go this is making all the trouble this ego self is the root cause of all trouble let it go so now what to seek tell me ulagathi uttada solringa kadavula pathi yosikka vendam solringa nammala pora sandosham saukyatha pathi vendam gringa enna da seyirudhu onnu seya vendam chumma po mannu mari engala aakiringa kadaisila appadi aanadha aanandam andha aanandam enak vendave vendam <laughs> we don't know what it is that's why we say we don't want that is something else ipdi solli solli engal idu pannunga that is something else that is something else so that is how he concludes okay now moving on to the next words hmm so tejaman has written commentary page after page சாக்காரம் பஜதாவத்வம் பிரசீதி நிராகாரே பரே தத்திரிமாஸ்டர் மாதிரி அக்ருத்ரிமா சரி see i am in soup now why just now i was telling something but here something contradictory has been stated <laughs> what is said here sakaram bhaja worship the lord with form chacho <laughs> see vashishta supadesha valmiki summarizing first he said there is no world there is nothing now he says sakaram bhaja see in the order la solirka matter guruji has picked up from somewhere and put sakaram bhaja sakaram is with aakaram so worship the lord with form why at this stage of evolution your mind cannot hold on to the formless mind can only hold on to the with the form therefore hold on to a form ishta ayyo romba kashta ad enak endha kadavutti manasu po matinga enna seru this is the problem some people are there intellectuals for them heart is not blossomed avanga museum la poi nikkira maadha paapam koyil ku pona nalla irukku andha sela nalla irukku enga endu eduthe enga endu eduthinga enga endu eduthinga சில நல்லா இருக்கு அவ்வளவுதான் உங்களுக்கு தெரியும் சில நல்லா இருக்கு அந்த அம்பாவோட மூக்க கொஞ்சம் இப்படி பண்ணிருக்கலாம் அது அம்பாள் அப்படி அவ்வளவுதான் நமக்கு பக்தி பட் வாட் இஸ் சிங் சாக்காரம் பஜ ஸோ பிளீஸ் வர்ஷிப் த காட் வித் ஃபார்ம் விச் எவர் காட் அப்பீல்ஸ் டு யூ பிகாஸ் விச் எவர் ஃபார்ம் யூ வர்ஷிப் இன்ஃபைனைட் தட் பரம தத்துவம் கேன் டேக் தட் ஃபார்ம் and it can come and bless you so first sakaram bhaja why till till when tavatvam yavat sattvam prasidati till that time the mind becomes more and more and more pure yavat sattvam prasidati till that point of time when the mind becomes more and more full of sattva and more and more pure why tamas and rajas has gone therefore it has become more and more sattvic so more and more pure till your mind becomes more and more pure means less of tamas and rajas and more of sattva you worship the lord with form so how to start with puja nama japa kirtana sankirtana all those stuff and then slowly dhyanam all those stuff 
தீர்த்த கஷேத்ர ஐ மீன்ஸ் கஷேத்ராடனம் ஆல் தோ ஸ்டாப் யூ வர்ஷிப் த லார்ட் டில் த டைம் மைண்ட் பிகம்ஸ் ஃபுல் வித் டிவோஷன் வெரி பியோர் தென் நிராகாரம் பரே தத்துவே ததகா ஸ்திதி அக்ருதிமா அக்ருதிமா மீன்ஸ் ஸ்பான்டேனியஸ்லி தென் திஸ் மைண்ட் வில் கிளைட் இன்டு நிராகார நிராகாரே பரே தத்துவே நிராகாரி மீன்ஸ் ஃபார்ம்லெஸ் பரே தத்துவே தட் சுப்ரீம் ததகா ஸ்திதி யூ அபைட் இன் இட் நேச்சுரலி அக்ருதிமான ஸ்பான்டேனியஸ்லி சி நவ் த மைண்ட் இஸ் வெரி இம்பியோர் ஃபுல் ஆஃப் தமஸ் அண்ட் ரஜஸ் Tamas means what? Ignorance. Avarana Shakti. Rajas means what? Vikshepa. Projection. That is why we run out. When that becomes more, I mean very very less. Then Sattva when it increases. Sattva means Jnanam. Prashantam. When it increases, then naturally the mind will settle down in the heart. Heart means what? In the truth. Spiritual heart. The self. see during pradosha time during shivaratri time some auspicious occasion the mind naturally is full of sattva then when you meditate it just glides ha abhi i do some days or some places i don't know what reason howsoever you put efforts the mind will not cooperate with you that happens some places or some time are so conducive that naturally you glide into it some places or some time i don't know where that's why they say inauspicious this you know some time or panchangam and i don't know there may be some truth in it you have to struggle or the papa papam is fructifying in your mind in your heart that time you struggle with the mind nothing happens so therefore you worship the form see parangle you should appreciate this though the vashishta maharishi has taken to the giddy heights also he is giving a practical tips he is not very unreasonable he says to start with yes the mind needs some alambana some support and also the mind needs to become very more and more pure what else other than bhakti that, that is the only way to go so therefore you worship the god with form aakaram bhaja yavat sattvam prasidhati when the sattva grows in you then naturally you abide in yourself in that nirakara formless see otherwise formless is very difficult to comprehend mind cannot comprehend formless it can remain only attached to a form urupatri nirkum urupatri uru patri undu miga ombum uru vittu uru patrum thedungal ootam pudikkum uruvatra pey agandai or so it is always it, it can survive only holding on to some form this mind that is why when you say guru is in your heart as atma It's all good, but I want some physical form also to hold on. Why mind wants something physical also to hold on? That is why we have Ishta Devata or Gurus, all those stuff. So initially you start like that, then when the mind becomes more and more pure, by itself it will. See, for the great devotees, like, like Tulsi Das Ji, like Tyagarajar and all, they go on singing the glories of the lord not for anybody else for their own sake they sing like tukaram namdev and all all our great devotees and then after some time even that singing stops why the heart is so full overflowing with bliss ha that is all when that happens again and again more and more and more then they don't want to come out to this world and they are they happy that is what is called as abundance in the self that happens naturally they see the god everywhere means what 
that is only one god alone is for them there is nothing else that god we call as self but bhaktas called as bhagwan but it is one and the same actually ore tattu anna irukolathla so therefore you start with the worship of form it will lead you to the formless and in gita 6 chapter he clearly says worshiping the god without form is very difficult and it is full of sorrow only it is challenging so you start taking a form and then you will be led to formless hmm then valna ah, the seventh verse valmiki concludes the summary also na so me seventh verse le avaru conclude panniraara ellarum conclude panta appo enna da irukku meedi see this is the most profound words see when we were attending the vedanta course our chief acharya swami tejomayan ji when he was giving the valedictory address one of the brahmachari was asking swami ji give us the final upadesha one upadesha ibudha kepanga ivlo solli kudutach last one thing you, what you want to tell us then guruji said this guruji said this but at that time i was not knowing we were not knowing it is from yoga vashishta but so beautiful very profound see akinnam kshanamasinaha akinnam kshanamasinaha pashya samsara natakam pashya samsara natakam chidananda ganam swacham आत्मानं च विभावय एवं स्थास्यसि नित्यं चेत् तीर्णोसि भव सागरात् सी यू प्लीज मेमोराइज दिस वर्ड्स एंड कीप इट इन योर माइंड इट विल हेल्प यू ऑलवेज अखिन्नम क्षणमासीन पश्य संसार नाटक चिधानंद गनम स्वच्छ आत्मा च विभावय स्थास्यसि नित्यं चेत् तीर्णोसि भव सागरात् अकिन्नम अकिन्नम क्षणम आसीनः आसीनः न सिट आसीनः हाउ यू हैव टू सिट अकिन्नम क्षणम नॉट इवन द मोमेंट यू शुड बी डिजेक्टेड व्हाई रामा वाज वेरी डिजेक्टेड ना we saw in the first chapter rama was very dejected everything is you know shanikam shanikam dukkam dukkam everything is sorrowful and everything perishes so like that like that don't get dejected maashu <coughs> chaha don't despair sarva dharman parityajya mamekam sharanam vaja अहम तवा सर्व पापेभ्य मोक्षयिष्या मा शुच डोंट डिस्पैर देर आलो कृष्ण गेव दट उपदेश ना हियर आलो इज सेंग इवन फॉर अ मोमेंट डोंट गिव इन टू दिस डिजक्शन दिस नेगेटिविटी दिस डिप्रेशन नो सो हाउ यू हैव टू लिव पश्य संसार नाटक सीटेड इन युअर ओन सेल्फ पश्य संसार नाटक सी द वर्ल्ड एस अ ड्रामा संसार नाटक मीनिंग वॉज इट इज नॉट रियल दट इज वॉट वी लर्न ऑलो नव इज ऑल अनियल सो लाइक ए नाटक इट्स नॉट हापनिंग आक्चुअली चुम्मा नाटक नाटक सो सी दिस वर्ल्ड एस ए नाटक मीनिंग वॉट डोंट गेट स्वेड बै द हापनिंग गुड और बैड सुख और दुख लाइक दट बर्ड ऑन दट on that branch pashya just watch and observe because it is nothing but natakam leela yu ulagu see it's a pure bhakti language see ella ambaala leela apdi solranga illaya so leela leela means natakam so watch everything as natakam see we can watch everything as natakam 
as long as it is happening somewhere else but if it happens to my own son or daughter it is not natakam it is very real if it happens to me my god gone that is the that is the catch but here he says the whole thing is just a natakam and chidananda ghanam swachham atmanam cha vibhavaya always meditate vibhavayana meditate on chidananda ghanam this consciousness pure consciousness means pure knowledge that is the self swacham very pure anandam atmanam that is the self you always abide there or meditate on that pure self so when you are with yourself turn within and just meditate on that pure self when you have to transact in the world vilayadu veera meaning what this is just a natakam it has no meaning so don't get swayed or affected just watch when you watch it as natakam you can enjoy it thoroughly but when you get involved or take it to be very real then you have to suffer so while you are living in the world see it as a natakam when you are sitting quiet don't think of anything else just remain in yourself if you can't do that then take one upanishadic verse and then meditate on it saying that chidananda ganam swacham atmanam like that you take something and contemplate or focus attention on the self like any of these things so that is what you have to do namma rendum gatta that is a problem while living in the world we get so involved we take it to be very real aha ho ho all those stuff while sitting quiet can't sit quiet and we sleep or oka nana pei pidicha mari manasu aadu adu varaku shantama paravallam anchu mind was okay but when you sit for meditation something happens to the mind yedukada vambu okare venda people give up meditation instead of giving up mind thoughts they give up meditation only why it is terrible samji before coming to ashram before hearing all this we were very happy <laughs> now only we are miserable i tell you that is true <laughs> that is why we don't take this also seriously this nataka means this is a part of the script nataka script is no, i'm just joking huh? <laughs> so see this world as a natakam even when it happens to your own near and dear see you have to do whatever you are supposed to do see please don't become very strange you have to do whatever you are supposed to do but it is natakam only you are also playing the role that is natakam and the supreme creator the lord knows so he takes care of everything actually so this is natakam and chidananda chidananda ghanam the mass of consciousness is my true self swacham it is pure there is nothing other than it so vibhavaya evam stasyasi nityam chet when you live like this nitya means ever evam stasyasi means when you are rooted in this when you live like this ever tirnosi bhava sagarat tirnosi bhava sagarat you will swim across or cross the ocean of bhava this trans migration samsara so if we if we cannot understand whole of yoga vashishta sara sangraha at least if we can take this as our take away what we have learnt when we are living in the world see this world as an adagam when you are sitting quiet remember the lord if it is easy for you remember the lord because last verse only na you worship the lord with form that is good or if you are a gnani a gnani purush means what intellectually oriented then you take one of the upanishadic words and contemplate on it or if you are a bhagwan's devotee then keep your attention on the self na yar any one of these methods then when the mind becomes more and more and pure what happens you know it, it gets more and more clarity 
and more and more it becomes peaceful sankalpata vittu tholayan solrar illaya with the both hands raised i proclaim to this world give up sankalpa sankalpa is the bondage when you give up sankalpa it is liberation alas nobody listens nobody takes to their heart vashishta himself says so give up sankalpa and be careful about this she elephant which is mad thaniya vandirke enna mo solreya she elephant sonna enna mo solran comment pandranga endu so so be careful about that she mad elephant called desire if you don't kill it it can destroy you create havoc how can you kill it with a astram called as dhairyam dhairyam namna fortitude with courage you have to strive again and again without losing heart you have to there is no other go illaya idella na take away we have to remember first two three chapters enna nanu enakku nyamalo ungalku nyamam illa ana adha take away sabu kondu pova mudiyadhu so at least whatever we remember at least for this few days we can take away okay so this world is nothing but natakam and uh, this self alone is satyam therefore abide in it then once again after concluding thus bharadwas bharadwajo vach the student asks again the teacher valmiki bharadwajo vach bharadwajo vach hmm ram praptam param yogam ram praptam param yogam swat swatmanatmani nishtitah swatmanatmani nishtitah tatam vashishta devena vyavahar parah krutah now this strange doubt you know it came in his mind bharadwaja's mind very very strange and very reasonable doubt he is expressing himself ramaha prapta param yogam rama attained this great yoga and swa atmanam atmani nishtitah by himself he was abiding in his own self that's what uh, uh, valmiki said na he just he entered into that samadhi and he was remaining still and he was reveling in that ananda that's what he said na now he is asking ramaha prapta param yogam he has attained to that highest goal swa atmana atmani nishtitaka nishtitaka means he was always he was reveling or abiding deeply getting absorbed in the de- in, in the true self then katam vashishta devena vyavahara paraha krutaha then how this vashishta muni he prompted rama to live in this world because we know the story of rama na aparna valki aarambhida avanu he was doing so much accomplishing so much actually he has come to this world for accomplishing something else so how when he was absorbed in his self lost in his self because of that enlightenment then how vashishta could convince him to get up and act in the world outside how was he able to push rama to live in this world like anybody and like anybody else see because when you realize the self there is nothing other than the self and you are enjoying that taro ananda then what is the need to work so he can just lose himself and sit like that now then he was asking then how this vasishta muni after giving this upadesha putting him into the deep state of absorption how he woke him up how he pushed him into this world how he pushed him into this activity that was the question reasonable question na then valmiki ruvacha valmiki ruvacha vasishta proktavan ramam vasishta proktavan ramam vishwamitrena choditah vishwamitrena choditah 
वशिष्ट उवाच राम राम महाबाहो महापुरुष चिन्मय नायं विश्रांति कालोहि लोकानंद करो भवा then when uh, Bharadwaja asked this question, the teacher Valmiki, he replied, Valmiki Vacha. What did he say? What Valmiki say? Vishwamitra Choditaha. Now Vishwamitra, he sort of, he, he, he got into awkward position now. He only asked Vashishta Muni, uh, Vashishta Muni to give Upadesha. Na? This fellow has gone into Samadhi. Then what to be done now? He has come there only to seek his help. Earlier he was depressed. Now he was absorbed. Then uh, this uh, Vishwamitra, he directed Vashishta. Now you do something and get this fellow up. Nāyanamo seso nīyanamo sanjute apa. Sayana salvanga, pleya apadika koranga vandha kadamari. I ask you to, you know, push him into this world. But you have pushed him into the self. And he is in deep samadhi. So, Vishwamitra directed Vashishta to help him to, to wake him up or to bring him back to this world. Then Vashishta Uvacha. Directed by Vishwamitra, Vashishta is now speaking to Rama. Rama Rama Mahabaho. He is addressing Rama. Hey Rama, Mahabaho. You are a valorous one. Baho means what? Bhujangal. Mahabaho means with a great bhujam. Means what a great warrior you are. So how can you sit like this? Mahabaho, Mahapurusha. You are the Mahapurusha, you are the avatar, avatar of the Lord, Narayana himself. Don't you remember why you have come to this world? Not to sit like this in meditation, in absorption. Because devas have prayed to you to kill this Ravana, Rakshasas. That is why you have come here. To, to, to protect the good, to destroy all the evil and to establish dharma, you have come here. So you have got lot to accomplish in this world outside. <coughs> oh Mahapurusha, Chinmaya, 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 na, Chit means what? Consciousness. Chinmaya means one who is reveling in consciousness. Oh Rama, one who is reveling in consciousness. Oh Mahapurusha, Oh Mahabhago, Mahabaho, Na ayam vishranti kalahahi. This is not the time for you to retire. Na, na means not. I am this. Vishranti kalohi. This is not the time for you to retire or be absorbed in the cells. Loka, loka ananda karo bhava. Loka ananda karo. Meaning what? Now you are here to give so much of joy to this world. That is what you have come here. You know, Shabari Mata is waiting for you to meet you. Really, she is waiting there with a lot of devotion for the Lord. All the great Rishi Munis in the, in the, in the, in the, in the forest, they were waiting for you to have your darshan. Because they know Narayana has come as Sri Rama. Actually, they were waiting to see Rama. And all the great devotees, they were just waiting. So, you are the beloved of all these devotees. Now, you come out of your absorption, samadhi, and uh, entertain or give ananda to all these people. See, loka ananda kara, karo bhava. May you give ananda to this world now. See, similar thing happened, do you know? Ramakrishna... He just touched Vivekananda. And then something happened to him. And he got that vision of oneness actually. He started shouting. Oh, oh, please protect me. Save me. And after that, all the time he was absorbed. from Vivekananda. All the time he was absorbed. Then Ramakrishna said, you have come for something else. Now you have to go. You cannot sit like that. And then he said, I will have the key for your Nirvikalpa Samadhi. You, I will have the key. Only when you accomplish and fulfill your duties, 
whatever you have come for then only i will open the door for you to abide means to just get lost in that this happened actually it's not a cock and bull story it all happened recorded in the history and then he convinced swami ji to go and preach and also to do this work so actually speaking swami vekanand ji is one of the uh, sapta rishi and when he was young also he was a great yogi only whenever uh, whenever he felt sleepy a great jyoti arose from within and he got merged into the jyoti and then he went he is not sleep it is absorption only he was not knowing it actually he was thinking everybody would go through the same way so he was a great yogi he was an ordinary person and on top of it he was blessed by swami ramakrishna paramahamsa so you cannot compare with swami ji anybody such a great soul pa apdi or manifestation that is why he could shake this world actually pa his words are fire you read his words is fire and or vilam enge endu pavarudu that fire so ramakrishna said no you are not going to sit like this you have come for something else to accomplish some great task of amba of kali mata so you cannot sit here go similarly here also rama has come here for what for a greater task of establishing dharma protecting the good and destroying the evil so how can you sit like that absorbed so he says now go out in the world and give joy to all one and all to all the devotees hmm loka ananda karo bhava that is how he prompted drama yeah ah, and this one see i don't know why tejamani chooses such words as you know <laughs> yaval loka paramarsho nirudo nasti yoginaha nirudo nasti yoginaha tavad drudha samadhitvam tavad drudha samadhitvam na bhavatyeva nirmalam yavat yavat means as long loka paramarshah you have got obligations to the world unfulfilled nirudo nasti unfulfilled such a yogi tavad drudha samaditvam na bhavati till that point of time this yogi will not attain to that drudha firm abhirance in the self so what he is saying you have come here for something else if you are not fulfilling that obligation you cannot attain to that highest therefore come out and go into the world ah nalla sadhaka nalla excuse kadu swami ji we have got lot of obligations we have got a family we have got children grandchildren we have take care you were asking us to sit quietly no no we will finish all those things and come back we will never come back why it will not end enna da solla solringa rama avashishtha only saying na as long as you fulfill all your obligations you cannot sit quiet you cannot get absorbed appa da sonna ella sankalpa di vittu tholan give up all sankalpa and in that silence abide sonna so epdiya ramana elipi avanum enna serudu ella nadagam dane everything is not a so he says you have come here for some different purpose till you accomplish that you will not attain to that that supreme state therefore come out now you have to go into the world and spread joy everywhere see this is true you know what why it is true you know as long as we have got some sort of unfulfilled desires deep rooted some sort of very strange vasanas which are lurking still in our heart deep within us this complete absorption is not possible so it has to be exhausted yena kena prakarena 
one way is you have to fight it out or you have to really struggle and you have to really work on it and finish it off so there are certain examples certain occasions when the vasana certain vasanas are very deep rooted certain unfulfilled de desires or longing or something is there to not allow you to sit to push you out again and again so either you have to go out and finish it off or with guru's grace somehow you have to just work on it struggle with it and come out of it adha kadai sila guru vandu green signal kudutha adha abingra mari aidudilla it's not like that he is only just telling rama you have come for a different purpose so you have to fulfill that see we cannot take it too literally and give it as an excuse understand what i am saying you cannot say that you know we have a lot of duties now pending lot of obligations so after finishing everything we will sit enniki samudrathu alai oyirudhu enniki snanam pandrudhu it will not happen so therefore now went here we have to sit quietly and this is what he means without maturity without that pakkuva we should not contemplate to take some drastic decision we have we have listened to something which for me few few moment we are very inspired which for me suddenly we should not take some drastic decision it will not work i am telling you it will not work because we do not know what sort of deep tendencies are there lurking in our hearts we do not know what karma vasana is there we don't know so eduthoma kautnoma nu vela seikkuvanga solluvanga theriyuma ungalku we should not take drastic decision suddenly like that suddenly i feel very inspired now i want to give up the world i want to go into the forest i want to meditate modalla kosu kadicha adan thaanga mudiyuma nu paaru nee forest ku appuram po first or experiment seivoma you go and sit in front of nandishwara and meditate for half an hour பாம்பு வரலாங்க ஆமா பாம்பு கூட வரலாம் பாம்பு வருமோ நெழியிற மாதிரி இருக்கு இவ்வளோ பெரிய பெரிய வண்டு இருக்கு சி சென்னை வாசி யுவர் ஆல் நத்திங் யூ கேட் ஓன்லி மொஸ்கிட்டோஸ் யூ கேட் பெரிய பெரிய சாமான் இவ்வளோ பெரிய வண்டெல்லாம் இருக்கு ஸோ வி ஆர் நாட் ரெடி ஃபார் எனிதிங் every 3 hours we have to eat otherwise we will abbe collapse forest la pona enna saapida mudiyum ela kolayala saapiduven ipo chomma ivan se ela kolaya saapiduven vaandi oru ela kolaya saapta illa vaithala pedu solla mudiyadu ee idha romba nalla irukku kekkuradhukku pesuradhukku but you know what we have to grow hasten slowly you understand what i'm saying paripakku vanda piragu you will not go and ask anybody discuss with somebody it will drop off by itself you need not do anything it will drop off by itself till the time whatever is your prarabdha whatever is your duty you have to accomplish suppose without understanding this if you take a drastic decision then you will not succeed there neither there nor here nadu rendum gettan mar adu அது ரொம்ப டேஞ்சரஸ் தேர் ஃபோர் தட் இஸ் த வார்னிங் கிவன் ஹியர் ஆக்சுவலி ஸோ விதவுட் டோட்டலி எக்ஸாஸ்டிங் ஆல் தீஸ் கைண்ட் ஆஃப் வாசனாஸ் இஃப் யூ டோன்ட் நோ வாட் வாசனாஸ் ஆர் லக்கிங் இன் யூ இஃப் யூ வாண்ட் டு டர்ஸ் யூட் அண்ட் ஜஸ்ட் ட்ரைட் இன் டு நிர்விகல்ப சமாதி பிகாஸ் பகவான் ஆல்சோ சாட் லைக் தட் இன் தட் இன் தட் குகை என்னது பாதாள் லிங்கம் i will also go into the padal lingam now nobody will allow you but i will go to some other padalam and go and sit not happen so therefore it is a warning given here don't take this kind of decision now as long as you are you are asked to exhaust your you know obligatory duties you have to do it அப்படின்னு சொல்லுவீங்க இப்படின்னு சொல்லுவீங்க எல்லாம் சொல்லுவீங்க 
what should we listen to whatever is your prarabdha accordingly you will listen hmm tasmad rajya adhikaryani tasmad rajya adhikaryani nivartaya yathakramam nivartaya deva karyam yathakrutva tatastyaktva suki bhava tasmad therefore rajya adhikaryani nivartaya yathakramam Rajyadi Karyani means what? Whatever duties as a king you have to uh, you have to do. Nivartaya, you perform such duties. Yathakramam as it is expected out of you. Yathakramam on the Kramat Praharam. Then Deva Karyam Yathakritva. Also you are here for some other job also. Deva Karyam. Devas have requested you. That is why you have come here. So Deva Karyam is also there waiting for you. you have to kill and destroy all these rakshasas ravanadis so deva karyam also is waiting for you yatha krutva tatah then tyaktva suki bhava then you renounce and then you abide suki bhava then you enjoy this bliss now as a prince now you have to fulfill your duty to take care of your subjects clear yeah. so raja karyam is waiting for you that you have to fulfill and also deva karyam also is waiting for you you have come here only for that therefore this is not the time for you to sit like this absorbed now you have to go out and spread joy everywhere people are waiting for you and after that once one once after fulfilling all those duties you renounce and then you enjoy this bliss till then till then please listen to me whatever i say please obey this is what vashishta is saying okay now tomorrow we will see what rama what is the rama's state of mind how he is responding to his guru's words tomorrow we will see om purnamadha purnamidham purnat purnamudhachyate पूर्णस्य पूर्णमाधाय पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओ शाति 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 हरि ओ श्रीगुरभ्यो नम हरि ओ